Okay. I just found this guy. His name is Drew Joyner. I don't know what I was watching. A video of him popped up on my feed. He's into fashion and he lives in Denver, Colorado. As you all know, I lived in Denver for 15 years. And because of that, I was just like, um, yes. And I love fashion. I have my own. Um, if you all follow me, why is it? Okay, I'm doing it on the wrong. I have my own sense of fashion, my own way to dress my body. And if you all follow me on Instagram, you know, every usually every Saturday I take a picture of my outfit and my own eclectic style. And I always love to see what people are doing in the world of fashion. And not like, I don't like fat fashion. I love unique ways of dressing one's body. And he, something about him appealed to me, right? Let's see, let's pull him up. Talk. Nuggets versus Lakers date night kind of night. Let's get the fit. <laughs> the cropped black top is a cotton tee by Somar. The pants are the Yoji Yamamoto five panel Japanese selvage made in Japan denim jeans that make every outfit look good. The only thing about these is that you definitely need a belt for them. And the belt that I have is this rinky dink belt that I stole from my dad when I was 13. So that'll do. Jacket is also Somar. It is the Ives jacket, which is unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> For shoes, we're gonna go with the GH Bass Weijin 90s Kilty Tassel Loafers. See the tassel right there? Somar hat. I guess I'm rocking with Owen Hyatt's Somar pretty heavy these days recently. For the game, gotta bring the film camera. With that, we're set. Peace, y'all. Peace. All right, let's get ready. Tonight is a sushi slice. I, he kind of, you know, I don't, y'all go to my page, you'll see. Let me know. He kind of looks like my middle son to me. He does. Let's pull up Drew's YouTube page. Video pulled up here. Let me see. I'm going to make the, oh, Lord, let's see. Let's let this. First, it's time to focus on what you do best. So go to win. All right, let this video, this commercial play. I, you know, there's some people that have figured out how to not let commercials play on when they're doing reactions. I'm, I'm not that person. All right, so here we go. All looked at ourselves in the mirror and thought. It would be nice to improve my personal style. Having a nice sense of style is typically overlooked by the masses, but comes with a slew of benefits if you know what you're doing. But seeing as you're here and you've clicked on this video, you're not like most, are you? <laughs> and in today's video, I'm gonna break down three simple ways for you to improve your style. If you get any value out of this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you wanna see more moving forward, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Number one, start with what you have. There's this common misconception that in order to improve something for yourself, you must first acquire something outside of yourself. And while fashion is one of the most obvious examples see why i like him just cool he's just mellow he just he just he's got this really chill vibe maybe because i'm so super hyper i need to have some know somebody like really chill around me i don't know him i don't know you drew hey drew what's up what's up man i love your style tell denver my high city i said hi my office in in colorado i used to look out over the city i skate um what is it? What is the, the, the skyscraper line? City line? I don't know. What is it called? What do you know? The outline of the city skyline. The city skyline. And then behind it were the Rocky Mountains. It was such a beautiful view. That was my office. I watched the sunset. Whew, I miss that. Anyway, so between the Denver thing and looking like my son, I like him. What's up, Drew? What's up, man? What's up? Love your style. And did y'all hear what the man said? Start with what you have. Shop in your own closet. And I do that a lot. I do a lot of thrifting. Most of the the clothes I have, 
I thrift. I get them from my my mom when she's about to throw stuff out or get rid of stuff. She'll get she'll hit me up first, like, "Hey Denise, I'm about to get rid of this." Or, "Hey Doctor D, nice, right? I'm about to get rid of Doctor D, nice." Bojolin is here for the day, uh, so she'll call me and she's like, "Hey, I'm about to get rid of this. You want to come check it out? If there's something that you want." I'll go check it out. I shop her. My sister will do the same. My sister has super high end taste. I'm always happy when she calls me to come grab some clothes because you know, you know, <laughs> your girl going to have some stuff. <laughs> and because of that, I tend to have a more eclectic mix style. So I have stuff that I thrift, stuff that I got from my mom and my sister and I even have some friends that would be giving me things too. And then I may buy some pieces here or there, but it's very rare that I buy any brand new clothes that I, that when I'm like dressing up for church or something, it's very rare. I buy brand new shoes and even those sometimes I will thrift. I don't know. I like my style. It's, you know, during the pandemic, it took a hit because I put on some pounds during the pandemic. I'm still trying to lose it. And, you know, I'm not as confident in how my clothes fit me as well. And some of them just don't fit me as well. Anymore. But I'm, I'm working on it. We're working on it. We had the weight loss video the other day. The man said, start off with what you have and be creative about it. Let's see. I'm pretty sure he says that later because I've watched this video. I think that was the first video I've ever watched about him. And I was in of consumer art improving your style can be as easy as proper item coordination for example if you want to improve an outfit from being basic to something that's a bit more extraordinary or out of the ordinary you can do something as simple as adding accessories to the mix for women's wear this might include something like earrings headwear and side bags and for men's wear this might include things such as necklaces sunglasses and socks even if you don't have the quote unquote best accessories that are highly expensive or highly sought after, work with what you have and you'd be surprised to see the outfits you can make with the clothes and the items you have in your wardrobe. For me, some of the best accessories that I own come in at under $20 or even come in at the low price of free 99. Free 99. Don't overlook these. That's me. Free 99. <laughs> Anyway, he had some other tips. He you mentioned three. That was one number one. You have some stuff that you can work with. Start working with them and even accessorizing them. And check out the other three. I'm gonna link the video in our 